erratic up pain can be absolutely debilitating during pregnancy. This can feel like a, a deep, deep ache in one side of your glute or in your buttock or feel like a really deep ache in your hip. It can be pain that goes all the way down the back side of the leg, all right? So when you have this pain, you wanna get out of this pain right away. So we're gonna go through three different ways to help you start to correct your sciatica pain during pregnancy. When we go through these exercises, I really want you to know how important it is to, you're gonna try them and if they don't work, you gotta try it on the other side or it might be the next one that works for you. So we're gonna go through these little self-correction techniques to help balance the muscles on each side of the pelvis, which is gonna help take that ache and irritation out of the sciatic. Okay, so the sciatic nerve is a nerve that is composed from little nerve roots that exit your back and then form into what's called the sciatic nerve and run down the back side of your leg. Now, these, this nerve can get irritated from, say, like a disc herniation at the low back or a little nerve root impingement at the low back itself, or it can get squeezed by some of the muscles in your butt, all right? Sometimes that's called piriformis syndrome. Well, what we're gonna go through today is gonna help balance these pelvic muscles and hopefully take that deep ache out of your hip or out of that leg that is so irritating for you. Now, I will say that it is really important to work with a pelvic expert physical therapist who can help do this for you, um, but these tips can really help you get out of pain right away. So let's go through them together. The reason sciatic pain is so common during pregnancy is because our pelvis separates about five to seven millimeters at the pubic bone itself, at the pubic joint itself. Um, we're also going to see separation at these back low um, SI joints, they're called sacroiliac joints, so right where the ilia meet the sacrum. And if we get loosey-goosey in some of these joints, then our glutes start to squeeze to hold us together. Well, sometimes when they squeeze to hold us together, they can crank on the sacrum, the sacrum one way or another and cause us to be a little bit off balance. So we're gonna go through what's called muscle energy techniques to help establish balance within the glutes themselves. Now, I will just say one little side note before we even dive into these techniques that if you are feeling this deep ache in your hip, one of the best things you can do is self-massage your glutes or have your partner self-massage your glutes. You can just lay on the side in your bed. You don't even have to be in your bed and just take your hand and start rubbing around your whole glute area and really see if you can start to loosen up these muscles with some massage. So you can rub in like a cross friction massage. You can rub in a circular motion. Just start rubbing, even if you're not even aware of what these muscles are, just to stimulate the blood flow to get them to start to loosen up, all right? Tip number one is what we're gonna go through here. So the very first technique we're gonna do is called a shotgun technique. So this is a muscle energy technique to help balance the pelvis. You'll have your hands here. You're gonna push out with both hands in by your, from your knees, okay? So we're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. Then we're gonna pull in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now you can separate your legs a little bit further and pull in again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. And you're going to do it one more time. So you're going to go one time out and then three times in for the shotgun technique. If it's too painful for your hands to be here, squeezing your hands, you can also just use a pillow or a ball and squeeze that. And you don't have to worry about definitely changing positions. You can change positions. You don't have to, okay? We just wanna balance the muscles that are activating. So if that causes any pain in your pubic bone or pain in your SI joint, you don't wanna do it, okay? We're doing this to try and alleviate pain, not to increase any discomfort or pain. So we'll do that technique, the shotgun technique, to start. So you just do that regardless. So always do that movement first. It's just preparing the muscles to balance. And now we're gonna try a few different things, all right? The first thing we're gonna try is gonna be to correct an anterior innominate. It doesn't matter what you have or what you don't have. This can just be a great muscle balancing technique. We call it a correction for an anterior innominate, but you don't have to worry about that. 
what you're gonna do here is you're gonna push down with one leg into the ground as you pull up and push into your hand. You're gonna hold from 10 seconds, take a break, repeat another 10 seconds, take a break, repeat another 10 seconds, all right? Then I want you to stand up, walk around. Do you feel that irritation in the glute still? Okay, am I still feeling that deep ache? Am I feeling that sciatic pain? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, I want you to try it on the other side. So you'll push the right foot into the ground, lift the left leg into your hand and push. And I'm using about 30% of my effort. This is not an all out effort. This is just to get the muscles to recalibrate around the pelvis. Let it go. You can do that repeat three times. Stand up, walk around. Is that deep ache still there? Yes or no? If the answer is, hey, it's a little bit better, go through and repeat that technique. Um, and that maybe you just need to increase the balance and just do it a few more times. Um, if you're like, oh, I got complete relief, great. Now use this as a tool throughout the rest of your pregnancy every time that nerve starts to talk to you or that hip starts to talk to you. For our final correction, we are gonna be in a sideline position. And now you can do this on either side. And again, it doesn't mean if you have pain on your right side, don't do it on your right side. If you have pain on your right side, don't do it on your left side. It doesn't matter. You can try this on both sides until you get the discomfort and the pain to go away. Okay, so let's say I have a deep ache on my right side. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try it on my right side first and see if this works. You can use a partner with this one. This can be a great, a great partner activation. I don't have a partner with me, so I'm just gonna show you the movement and show you the repetition you can do to get the correction that you're looking for. We call this a correction of sacral torsion. Again, irrelevant if you have a sacral torsion, which is just an anatomical twist of your sacrum um, that can happen very frequently during pregnancy with all the relaxin and progesterone that makes our joints really loosey-goosey. It doesn't matter. What matters is we want this nerve pain and this ache out of your leg so you don't have to suffer with sciatica anymore. Okay, so follow me here. We're gonna go into the sideline position and then we're gonna keep our knees together. We're gonna bring both feet up to the sky. And if you have a partner, this is where the partner could put their hands here so you could push your feet up towards their hands. So you're driving your feet directly up to the ceiling and they're pushing down. You can hold this 10 to 30 seconds. Now I don't have a partner here. So one thing I can do to use these muscles and to help reestablish the balance around my pelvis is if I'm in this position, I am just gonna do a little bit of hip internal rotation. Okay, and I'm gonna try to fatigue it and kind of burn it out a little bit. So maybe it's gonna take me 40 repetitions to do this. And again, I'm doing this to try to pull my sacrum into alignment. Then you stop, you walk around. Did the ache go away? Okay, no, the ache didn't go away. Let's try the other side. We simply go to our side. We're just gonna move to the other side. We'll be here. Okay, great. Now again, you could go into this position and bring your heels up to the sky. Have your partner press down here. Okay, and then come back down. If you don't have a partner or you didn't really feel those muscles activate, then you're gonna go into doing this fatigue burnout of hip internal rotation to try to correct that sciatic pain. This might take me a while to get this fatigue and that's okay. Let's see when I start to feel it, I will let you know. This is my secret weapon for always correcting the sciatic pain that I sometimes experience because I tend to be right-sided dominant. And so this helps balance me out when I do it on my left side. It's my little hack. And again, if I have a partner or someone working on me, I always have them finish with doing just this exercise to me where they push down and I push up, helping balance all those muscles around my pelvis. Okay, so these were the corrections to try to take that deep sciatic pain out of your leg, that deep ache, that irritation, that butt throb that probably keeps you up at night. So try all three of these. If you're not finding success with them, 
tune in and check out our other videos. There's probably a lot more around your pelvis that needs to be released in order for us to make true progress in getting the sciatic nerve to be unloaded and decrease the pain in that sciatic nerve. All right, I hope you found this valuable. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are so honored that you're here following us and we get to be a part of your pregnancy. Please drop in the comments exactly how many weeks you are um, and let us know if these helped you. All right, take care.